Hello, I am the narrator, and before this episode begins, George will be talking about a very small little bird. Without further ado, let the show begin. Good morning, everybody. My name is George, George, and today we're going to be learning about the Arctic Puffin which are also known as uh, sea parrots. Oh yes, the sea uh, parrot. Information about the animal and what it looks like. These birds are excellent at swimming and flying and use their wings for both activities. The puffins are little but yet beautiful birds. Their main body, of course, is of a black and white, while their feet and beak are of a bright reddish orange color. They also have little, little black specks. Oh, yes. Little uh, black spots above and below their eyes, making them look worried all the time. Where they live, how long they live, and how do they get their food? The sea parrots like to spend most of their day in the water, where they live on the coast of North Atlantic, south of Spain, Canada, Oh, what was it? Norway! Did you forget? Oh, thank you. Norway, Greenland, and Scotland. These little birds can also live up to 20 years and more. The puffins go fishing for their food, where they dive deep underwater, snatching up fishies with their beak. What they eat, and what are their predators? Yeah. Its scientific name. It likes to eat small, common fish like the sand eel or herrings. The puffin's name, or scientific name rather, is called. Back me up on this. Fronter Kula Arcata. Fractacruel It's mating habits and some random facts. The puffins do not start mating until they are three to six months. Six years old. Sorry. And they normally wait until it is spring and summer time where they will fly to North Atlantic and Iceland. Thank you. Iceland, where they will go to some high mountains and start to make a nest, where the female will then lay one egg, and both male and female will take turns taking care of the egg, and the baby comes out of it. <coughs> In the winter time, puffings beak will actually start to change color. It will kind of like fade out into a darker colors and whenever a baby puffing is hatched it's actually called a puffling. The difference between male and female and what is it related to? The Atlantic puffin are in a family with two others. There is the turfed puffin and the horned puffin, which are bigger than the Atlantic puffin. And unfortunately, there are no questions to answer, so that's gonna do it for this video. If you are fascinated by the Atlantic puffin, there are links in the description that go 
more into detail about the information we found about this bird. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Without further ado, have a good day and good night. This is the end of the video, end of the video, end of the video. Beam, beam. End of the video, end of the video. Do this is the end of the video. Beam, beam. Beam, beam. Beam, beam. End of the video, end of the video, end of the video.